What if I told you that you can land a great job without ever having to sweat through an anxiety inducing interview? I know the struggle. The thought of sitting across from a stranger trying to sell yourself is horrifying. But I know what you're thinking. Shane, is this another one of those make millions overnight schemes? No, these are legit opportunities that I wish I knew about back when I was juggling pharmacy school and a mountain of student debt. And stick around because I'm about to show you no interview remote jobs that could be your ticket to financial freedom and work from anywhere bliss. And the first one is going to be a corporate transcriber. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, I'm not a human Siri. Relax, you don't need superhuman hearing for this gig. What you do need is patience, attention to detail, and the ability to type faster than your thoughts. All of which, by the way, are introverted superpowers. So what does a corporate transcriber actually do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, you'll be turning audio or video content into written text, but with a business twist. This could be anything from board meetings and earning calls to corporate training videos and legal depositions. And it's kind of like being a silent reporter in the world of suits and ties, capturing every word without having to schmooze at the water cooler. And this post comes from a person asking if transcription jobs are still worth it. And a transcriptionist of 15 years responds and says it's absolutely worthwhile with good clients, but you need experience. And that experience comes with patience and starting out with really low pay. So basically it's easy to get into, but you get paid really low and the work kind of sucks until you get experience, then you can get paid much better and the work is much better as well. And a transcriptionist in general earns about 35 to $57,000 a year. So this is one of those careers where it's relatively easy to get started. In fact, you can get started with a website like Rev or Transcribe. And websites like this often and have simple application processes where you'll need to pass a transcription test and you just have to aim for at least 95% accuracy. Now, pro tip here is for you to invest in a good pair of headphones and a foot pedal for playback control because trust me, your ears and fingers will thank you. Also, some text expander software. It's kind of like autocorrect on steroids and can dramatically boost your speed. And one challenge you might face is deciphering different accents or dealing with poor audio quality. But hey, think of it as training for your future career as a spy. You never know when those skills might come in handy. Now, why why is this perfect for introverts? It's just you, your computer, and a sea of corporate voices that can't ask you to speak up or make eye contact. Plus, you're honing your listening skills and expanding your business vocabulary. Let's face it, are the introverts secret weapon in the corporate world. So it's like being a fly on the wall in high powered meetings, all from the comfort of your quiet home office. So if you're vibing with these introvert friendly jobs, smash that like button. It helps more of our kind find these golden opportunities. Moving on, let's talk about the social media agent. Now I can hear you screaming internally, but Shane, isn't social media all about being, well, social? Not necessarily my introverted friend. Being a social media agent is like being the puppet master of the digital world. You're pulling the strings, creating engaging content without ever having to be in the spotlight yourself. So what does a social media agent actually do? Well, you'll be managing social media accounts for businesses or individuals. And this includes creating and scheduling posts, responding to comments, and analyzing engagement metrics. And it's kind of like being a digital storyteller crafting narratives 280 characters at a time. Now, to get started, check out platforms like Mod Squad or The Social Element. Some companies even offer positions where you can get paid to chat, no interview required. So it's kind of like being a professional conversationalist minus the anxiety-inducing face-to-face interactions. Now, just as an example, this person asked what a social media agent is, and another user responds that the job exists, but the titles and responsibilities may vary. The job may entail responding to comments, creating content, and even managing social media profiles, among others. Now, let's talk about the green stuff, money. Social media agents can earn anywhere from thirty-seven dollars to $60,000 a year. So this is one of those careers that doesn't pay all that well, but it's also super easy to land at an entry level, and it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience usually. Now, pro tip here is to develop your visual design skills. Eye-catching graphics can make your posts stand out in crowded feeds. Also, get comfortable with social media management tools like Hootsuite or Buffer. They're like the Swiss army knives of the social media world. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? Well, you get to engage with people and build communities without the drain of in-person interactions. And most of your work is done behind the scenes. So it's perfect for those of us who prefer to be the wizard behind the curtain. Plus, you're helping businesses and individuals build their online presence. So it's like being a digital architect, constructing online personas from the quiet comfort of your introvert sanctuary. And what do you know? Coursera has some amazing social media management related certificates. So definitely check those out. I'll put them down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next up is junior data entry. And I can hear you yawning already, but hold that thought. Data entry might sound as exciting as watching paint dry, but for us detail oriented introverts, it can be surprisingly satisfying. It's like organizing your Spotify playlist, but you get paid to do it. So what is a data entry special? 
specialists actually do. Well, you'll be the gatekeeper of information and putting data into computer systems, databases, or even spreadsheets. And this could be anything from customer info and inventory lists to survey responses and financial records. Basically, you're turning chaos into order, one keystroke at a time. And just as a real life example, this person works from home doing data entry, verifying documents and inputting data for nine to 11 hours a day. And she talks about the good and the bad of the job. Now, as you can imagine, data entry isn't necessarily everyone's dream job. There's a lot of downsides to doing data entry. But with that being said, it is one of the easiest remote jobs that you could possibly land. And you can make about 35 to $50,000 a year. And to get your foot in the door, you can check out sites like Axion Data or Clickworker. And they often have data entry related gigs that you can start with minimal fuss. And you typically need to pass a typing test and you wanna aim for at least 50 to 60 words per minute with the accuracy of a sniper. And a pro tip here is to sharpen your Excel and or Google Sheets skills. Knowing your way around a spreadsheet is like having a superpower in the data entry or really data anything world. So learning some basic formulas and shortcuts will have your fingers and your bank account thanking you. Now, one challenge you might face is the repetitive nature of the work. Well, let's be real. For us introverts who find comfort in routine, that's not necessarily a bug, it's a feature. So put on your favorite playlist or listen to a podcast, then zone out and let your fingers do the talking. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? Well, it's a job where accuracy trumps small talk and you can immerse yourself in the world of data, free from the pressure of office chit chat or team building exercises. Plus you're helping businesses maintain accurate records. So it's like being the unsung hero of the corporate world. Next is going to be proofreader for journal articles. Now, before you run away screaming grammar Nazi, hear me out. Proofreading is like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're hunting down misplaced commas and sneaky typos. And it's perfect for introverts who get a little thrill from spotting errors that everyone else missed. And you wanna know what's even more painful than proofreading? Publishing 10,000 copies of a book only to find out that on page 317, you had an obvious typo. So what does a proofreader actually do? Well, you're the last line of defense against linguistic chaos. You'll review written content for errors in grammar, punctuation, spelling, and format. So whether it's articles, books, websites, or even product descriptions, your eager eye ensures everything is polished to perfection. And to get started, check out sites like proofreadingservices.com or Scribendi, because they often have tests to assess your skills. No awkward small talk required. And you'll typically need to pass a proofreading test with at least 95% accuracy. So do you think you're up for the challenge? Well, proofreaders earn about 37 to $59,000 a year. So it's not the highest pay in the world, but again, this is one of those jobs that are relatively easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or pre previous experience. Now, a pro tip here is to familiarize yourself with different style guidelines like AP, Chicago, or MLA, because it's like learning the secret handshakes of the writing world. Also, invest in some good proofreading software like Grammarly or Pro Writing Aid. They're like having a super smart sidekick. And one challenge you might face is staying focused during long proofreading sessions. But for us introverts who can happily disappear in books for hours, that's just another Tuesday. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? You get to improve other people's work without actually having to talk to them. Plus, you're sharpening your communication skills without saying a word. Now, by the way, if you know other introverts who are looking for a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Next on the list is virtual bookkeeping. Now, before you run away screaming math, hear me out. Bookkeeping isn't about complex calculus or mind bending equations. It's about organization, attention to detail, and a love for keeping things balanced. All introvert superpowers, if you ask me. So what does a virtual bookkeeper actually do? Well, you're essentially the financial guru for small businesses or individuals. You'll record transactions, update financial records, check for accuracy, and maybe even create financial reports. And it's like being a money detective, following the trail of dollars and cents. Now to get started, consider taking an online course in bookkeeping basics. For instance, Coursera has some really good bookkeeping courses and certificates that you can check out. I'll put those down in the description and the pinned comment below. And virtual bookkeepers make about 44 to $67,000 a year. This is an entry level job, does not require a college degree or previous experience. You do not need to be an accountant. You don't need to be a CPA. You can become a bookkeeper with no experience and no college degree. However, it would help to get certificates like the one from Coursera, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below. And it's also a good idea to get certified from organizations like the National Association of Certified Public Bookkeepers. So why is this perfect for introverts? Well, you get to work with numbers, which never ask you to go out for drinks after work. Plus you're helping businesses stay financially healthy without having to make small talk at the water cooler. It's like being a financial superhero, swooping in to save the day from the comfort of your own spreadsheet paradise. Now, by the way, I did make a guide that will actually help you to land these jobs because as great as these videos are, they show you amazing job opportunities. 
they are missing some of the technical, you know, step-by-step -step aspects on how to actually land a job. So I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment below. Definitely check it out. And it goes really good combination with all of these videos. Next is going to be a search engine evaluator. Now I can hear you thinking, but Shane, isn't that just fancy Googling? Well, yes and no. It's like being a detective for the internet, making sure the digital world makes sense. And it's perfect for us introverts who prefer to observe and analyze rather than chat and mingle. So what does a search engine evaluator actually do? Well, you'll be assessing search search engine results to make sure they're accurate, relevant, and useful. And it's kind of like being the quality control for the internet. You might be checking if local search results are up to date, if the images match the search terms, or if the websites are safe and appropriate. So to get started, check out companies like Appen or Lionbridge. They often have openings for search engine evaluators with a straightforward application process. And you'll typically need to pass an exam that tests your research skills and your ability to follow guidelines. No need to worry about charming an interviewer, your analytical skills do all the talking. Now, just as an example, this person worked as a search engine evaluator for TELUS, rating web pages according to specific guidelines provided by the company to assess the quality and relevance of search results. Now let's talk money. A search engine evaluator earns about $43,000 to $70,000 a year. And that's not bad for essentially judging the internet from your couch. Now, a pro tip here is to stay up to date with current events and pop culture. It'll help you understand the context of many search queries. Also, get comfortable with using different devices and browsers. The internet looks different depending on how you're assessing it. One challenge you might face is dealing with occasionally disturbing content. And the internet can be a wild place after all. But most companies have systems in place to support evaluators in dealing with this. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? You to explore a wide range of topics without having to discuss them with anyone. And it's kind of like being paid to fall down internet rabbit holes. Plus you're helping to make the internet a more useful place for everyone. It's introvert altruism at its finest. Next up, literary translator. Now I know what you're thinking, but Shane, don't you need to be the next Shakespeare in multiple languages for this? Well, not quite. It's about more than just being bilingual. It's about capturing the soul of a story across linguistic borders. And it's perfect for those of us who love diving deep into books without the pressure of book club small talk. So what does a literary translator actually do? Well, you'll be transforming novels, poems, and other creative works from one language to another. But here's the thing. You're not just translating words, you're translating emotions, cultural nuances, and the author's unique voice. So it's kind of like being a literary alchemist, turning lead into gold, if lead and gold were different languages. And a literary translator spends their day diving deep into texts, carefully choosing words that capture the essence of the original language, sometimes spending hours to find the perfect translation for a single phrase. Now let's talk money. Literary translators can earn anywhere from forty-seven dollars to $84,000 a year. Now the funny thing is, you're not really doing that much more than transcription. You're just doing it from one language to another. However, you're getting paid significantly more than you would with transcription. So it definitely pays to be multilingual. Now to get started, check out platforms like ReadZ or TranslatorBase. Many of these don't require formal interviews and your portfolio and sample translations do the talking. Now you might need to pass a translation test, but there's no need to worry about impressing anyone with your small talk skills. And a pro tip here is to immerse yourself in the cultures of your working languages. Watch films, read newspapers, listen to music. It all helps in capturing those subtle nuances that make a translation sing. Also, consider specializing in a particular genre or author. Becoming the go-to translator for sci-fi or a specific best-selling author can really boost your career. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? Well, you get to spend your days lost in books, crafting beautiful prose without ever having to leave your quiet space. And you're bringing incredible stories to new audiences, bridging cultures, and expanding minds, all while enjoying the peace and solitude that we introverts crave. Moving on to online math tutoring. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shane, isn't teaching all about being out outgoing and sociable? Not necessarily, my introverted friends. Online math tutoring is like being the wise sage in a virtual cave of numbers. It's perfect for those of us who love crunching numbers but prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions to crowded classrooms. So what does an online math tutor actually do? Well, you'll be guiding students through the mysterious world of mathematics via video calls or chat. From basic arithmetic to advanced calculus, you'll be the Yoda of the math world, helping Padawans master the force of equations and formulas. And to get started, check out platforms like Chegg or TutorMe. Many of these sites have a straightforward application process where you'll submit your credentials and maybe solve a few math problems. And no need to worry about a formal interview, your math skills do the talking. Now, this is a discussion on Reddit about methods and tools for effective online tutoring, particularly for teaching mathematics with one tutor asking for advice and another sharing their experience using Zoom and a pen tablet. Now let's talk money. 
An online tutor makes about $37,000 to $62,000 a year. However, certain types of tutors are going to make more. For instance, math is a relatively rare subject for people to be skilled in. So if you're a math tutor, you're likely going to be making more than a English tutor, for instance. And you can go even deeper than that and specialize in a particular type of math, and you'll likely make even more. Now, a pro tip here is to invest in a good quality graphics tablet. Being able to write out equations and draw diagrams in real time can make your explanations much clearer. Also, familiarize yourself with online tools like Desmos or GeoGebra. They're like the lightsabers of the math tutoring world. One challenge you might face is explaining complex concepts without being face-to-face. -face. But for us introverts who often excel at written communication, this can actually be a strength. You'll likely develop creative ways to break down difficult ideas. Now, why is this perfect for introverts? You get to share your love of math without the pressure of a classroom full of students. And it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction where you're the expert, which can be much less draining for introverts. Plus, you're helping students conquer their math fears, all from the comfort of your own introvert case. So it's like being a mathematical superhero, saving students from the evil clutches of math anxiety, one equation at a time. Now, if you're loving these introvert-friendly job ideas, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I share new remote work opportunities every week, and many of them are introvert-related. Next, we've got a virtual assistant. And this is like being the wizard behind the curtains in a business. A lot of the time, it's a small business or you're working directly with an executive. And you're basically making everything run smoothly without ever having to step into the spotlight. So what does a virtual assistant actually do? Well, you'll be handling a variety of tasks to support businesses or entrepreneurs. And this could include managing emails, scheduling appointments, doing research, or even managing social media accounts. And it's like being a Swiss army knife of productivity, but you get to do it all from your introvert sanctuary. To get started, check out platforms like Fancy Hands or Time Etc. These sites often match VAs with clients based on skills, not interview performance. You might need to take some skill tests, but you can actually skip the dreaded video interview. And virtual assistants make about thirty-seven dollars to $58,000 a year. So it's really good money for just starting out, and it's one of those careers we could go in many different directions. Now, a pro tip here is to develop a niche or specialization. For instance, you might be a virtual assistant for podcast hosts or a virtual assistant for travel planners, and specializing can help you stand out and command higher rates. Also, get comfortable with popular productivity tools like Trello or Asana because they're like the magic wands of the VA world. Now, one challenge you might face is juggling tasks for multiple clients, but for us introverts who often excel at focusing and managing our energy, Energy, this can actually be a strength. It's like playing a real life game of Tetris with tasks instead of blocks. Next up, we've got enrollment specialists. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, isn't that just a fancy term for sales? Well, not quite. Think of it more like being a matchmaker for education. So what does an enrollment specialist actually do? You'll be guiding potential students through the enrollment process for colleges, universities, or online courses. But there are medical enrollment specialists as well. These people assess patients if they're eligible for healthcare services. And this includes explaining programming details, helping with applications, and sometimes even assisting with financial aid options. And it's kind of like being a GPS for people's education or healthcare journeys. And to get started, you can check out companies like K-12 or Connections Academy. And the beauty of these gigs, some only require you to fill out a job form, complete a background check, and attend mandatory training. No nerve-wracking interview required. And when it comes to the money, enrollment specialists make about fifty dollars to $74,000 a year. And there's opportunities for bonuses as well. And there's a tiny little bit of selling involved in this, but with that being said, sales is probably one of the most valuable skills that you can possibly learn. Now, the next one on the list has a little bit more selling, and that's going to be an entry-level real estate agent. Now, I can hear you thinking, but Shane, isn't real estate all about being a people person? Not necessarily. In fact, your listening skills and attention to detail can be superpowers in this field. So what does an entry-level real estate agent actually do? You'll be helping people buy, sell, or rent properties. And this includes researching listings, preparing documents, and sometimes even virtually staging homes. And it's like being a detective, matchmaker, and and an interior designer all rolled into one. So to get started, look for companies that offer online real estate courses. Some will not require an interview, but you'll have to undergo training. And it's kind of like leveling up in a video game, but instead of XP, you're earning the right to sell houses. And I don't think I need to explain real estate agent like as a job. I think everybody kind of knows what you do. You help people buy and sell houses. Now, you might be confused when you see how much real estate agents make because you'll see that they make about $96,000 to $178,000 a year. So you might be thinking, Shane, this is the best job ever. You you don't need a college degree, you don't need previous experience, and you can make $96,000 to $178,000 a year, sign me up. And although I do think it's a good job, the data is a little bit misleading. Because the reason why the salary is so high is because most people don't make it as real estate agents. Or most people 
if they do make it, just do it as a part-time side gig. So if you are able to make it as a real estate agent, it's really good money, but most people don't. Now, by the way, just about all of these careers that I talked about, you can learn the skills for how to get into the career online. And there's lots of different training programs or certificates out there that are either free or very affordable that you can learn from. And I did a video where I talked about the best ones and you can check that out by clicking right here.